Hey everybody, this is John Plantech, and this is how we're going to set up an Android SDK, so, or APK, sorry. The SDK is what you need to build the APK. This is uh, Copper Cube 6. Uh, we're going to learn how to input the Java um, APK SDK for that, and then the Google SDK. Or Google Play, uh, not Google Play, the Android Studio and the JDK 1501 Windows Installer. You're going to need both of those so that you can install or build video games inside of Copper Cube 6 for specifically the Google Play Store or any type of Play Store that runs on Android. So, if we try to publish it, this is Anything that runs off of Copper Cube 5 or Copper Cube 6, if you've just installed this and you say, hey, cool, publish to Android, and you get this, hey, yo, could not find uh, the JDK or uh, yeah, Java SE SDK. That's because you're going to need it. Those two, the Java SDK and then the Android Studio, have the files for you to then build your project. So what are we going to do? We're going to install them. So we're going to install our JDK first. That's all of our files and everything um, to set Android in place. So we're going to say yes to that. I have a specific folder where I'm going to install this. I would say do that as somebody who's had a whole bunch of issues with. Uh, reinstall it, yes. Uh, with this, but once I got it worked, it was awesome. I would say install them both into the same folder. But in each other, and within one folder where you know where it is, you're going to install them into each of their own folders. So this is that program's folder file, whatever. I'm going to install this in the SD card. I have an SD card. I'm going to say Android stuff. Actually, I should already have a folder. Dark Service 2, blah, 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 watchdogs. That's in it. So I'm just gonna build one called Android Stuff. Okay, cool. We're gonna say install into there. So it's gonna install Java into that specific folder onto my flashcard. Now I wouldn't say move it or whatever, it might mess it up. Change the Java. We're gonna go to card Android stuff. Okay, cool. We're gonna install it there. It's gonna install. It's gonna take a wee bit. I may flash this straight to the point when it's completely done. Okay, and then we're gonna say close. Okay, so what we get? What what do we do with that information? Well, we go to Android, set up SDK, where it says where is this? What like? What do we do with that information? Okay, we're gonna go to our card. We're gonna go to Android stuff. Boom. We're going to copy its location. And then we're going to set that for the Java SDK and say, hey, it's here. All this information that you need is here. So we, when we run it, that should be everything, right? No. So it's going to try to run it. Or it's going to say writing file. Oh, hold up. Was successfully created. Okay, cool. Okay. So the reason why I did that. And we're going to do this anyway. Was... You have a uh, Android Studio. I need to install this real quick. Oh, 
room is we need Android Studio installed. So no matter what happened, you're still going to need to have this installed. So it's going to say, please wait while setup is loading. We're going to install this in the same uh, folder that we did the other one. So yes. Next, uh, virtual device, okay, we're going to say next to that. I don't want it installed there. I want it installed on flashcard and Android stuff. New folder, Android SDK, say okay to that, say next, say install, and then we're going to install it. this one, we're going to X. Okay, so that's going to install. That's going to take a little bit. It's going to take about maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. It's going to install everything that you need uh, for Android. So this will be everything behind your actual like game project. So it will interpret everything that you're putting into it. And again, it's going to take about 10, 15 minutes for it to install. So let me flash straight to the point where it actually installs it. And then from there, we'll move to actually having everything good. Okay, guys, so it's finished installing. We're going to click Next, start Android Studio. And then we're not exactly done here yet. It still has to load in, and we still have to install at least one form of Android that you're going to be working on. Um, and then we're going to go over that real quick and then we're going to install some Android and then we're going to do a test actual APK build. So on configure, what I would say actually like install wise, um, SDK tools, says already going to do that, but I would say install 8, 8, 1, 9, 10, and 10, 11, and you're going to just say, okay, boom. Well, Okay, I already have these installed since I already did the tutorial. I had to re-record it. But you're going to select all of those. You're going to say, like, okay. And it's going to install it. But then once it installs, what you're going to want is this. This right here, where it says Android SDK location. Then you're going to say, okay, there. You're going to X there. You're going to go right where, okay, our gear, Android, set Android SDK location. We're going to set the location there. We're going to paste it. Say OK. Say OK. Oh, you're going to need to set a keystone generator. Uh, And this is where you create basically a kind of like key to identify the game as yours. We're going to say okay to that. We're going to say okay there. And then we're going to publish it. So it's going to be writing a file. And it's going to say, hey, cool, it was created. Now, what I would say is save uh, your game on the desktop or a specific folder. So we're going to save that on the desktop save yes then we're going to publish this game and then it's going to publish it on there you go your desktop so you're going to say close there we're going to exit there and there you go your apk folder and now it's saying it like this because it, it's windows and doesn't know how to read it so then you would just load this uh to your phone and then you would just install it and you'd say hey install allow uh, third-party apps if it gives you that warning and then you'll be set and you'll be good